on tap. Stone enjoyed by IPA. Hi, I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today, we are talking about Enjoy by IPA from the Stone Brewing Company in Escondido, California. Ours is the second installment of this hard-to-get new beer from Stone. Enjoy by 110912 was only released in Ohio and Colorado. The first installment, 092112, was only released in Chicago, New Jersey, and Southern California. This double IPA comes in at 9.4% ABV and 88 IBUs. The bottle says, there is no better time than now to enjoy this beer. That's because this beer has a twist. IPA should be imbibed fresh. Stone has gone through great lengths to make sure that this beer arrives in the stores and is removed from the shelves by the extremely large enjoy by date on the front of the bottle. They want you to drink it fresh. In fact, they want every bottle to be consumed within 35 days of being bottled. This is a hard beer to get, but the BBA network was on the case. We amassed quite a collection of them. I'd like to ask Greg Cook, send more to Columbus, specifically to Gentiles and Barrel and Bottle in Columbus. Bring on the beer. Chef, are there any hops in this beer? Yeah, there's a couple of hops in there, but uh, I think th there's a great blend of hops that you get the aroma, you get the taste, but I think it's it's it, there's a nice blend mix of hops to get the to get the citrus notes and and uh, you know that this, uh, that kind of that acidic note to it, and I think it's it's smooth for for an IPA. It, it drinks really well. Ryan, is the there's have like eight or nine different hops in this beer. Is the hop the character? Is it really well defined or is it kind of muddy? Um, I'm getting a, a really clear, uh, pleasant, grassy character. Um, that's what sticks out the most to me. Um, kind of a, a upfront grassy character and then the, the citrus underlying that. Um, it's, the aroma is just really delightful. I could just sit here with my nose in this glass for uh -huh. quite a bit of time and, and have a have an enjoyable evening doing that. Oh, so you'd like a strap on? <laughs> to, and, I mean, to attach it to your face. Um, if, if if something like that could be devised, or or uh, you know, if they could make uh, car air fresheners that would smell like this, that would be yeah, good idea. What do you think about the aroma of this one? Uh, I think it's great. I think it's grapefruity, piney, uh, everything that they're talking about. I mean, the entire beer is just overall enjoyable. I mean, the creaminess of the beer is what catches me. And the fact that it's 9.4, this does not, it doesn't come across as such a high ABV beer. I mean, it has, like, I, I don't know how malty the beer is supposed to be or is, or you know, but the malt backbone in this beer, to me, just provides so much creaminess. I really like it. I mean, it's like a, the Guinness of IPAs. The Guinness of IPAs. All right, let's get to the hard data. Numbers. Chef. Nine. I think this is a great beer. Uh, I, I look forward to, hopefully, Getting so, getting some more enjoy bites on a different with the different dates to see you know the the variances between the the, the the beers themselves so but yeah I mean it's got got a great nose it drinks really well uh, I think that there's there's some strong hop flavors in there but nothing it's not overly bittering or, or you know off putting or anything like that you get you get the 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 good hop flavor that you're looking for nine Ryan what nine. Nine. Nine for me as well. Um, yeah, it's uh, in addition to the the you know being able to recommend people pick it up when they can find it because it is it is hard to find. Um, it's also just a, a real delicious, tasty beer. Um, so yeah, nine for me. Okay, nine, nine, Scott. I'm gonna have to bust a rhyme. I'm going nine. I think it's a great beer. Uh, so it's obvious that everyone likes it. I mean. I personally would give it a nine or a 10. I think it's a great beer, but is the whole concept, is it just a marketing gimmick to you or is it more than that? No, I think they've done a good job of social media and tying it in with this. I mean, that's what craft beer is all about now. It's about a movement of people getting together and enjoying the same thing. And I mean, they have a contest right now that's an enjoy by contest and you do a hashtag Ohio, OH, I guess, and then hashtag enjoy or enjoy by. Well, I've seen it. I know it's fixed because Colorado's beating Ohio right now. Yeah, it's true. I know it's that true. can't happen. Yep. Well, it's, it's probably just because all these people that were at the JBF yeah. recently. All the Ohioans are at the Great American Beer Festival. I get it. It's true. It's true. They accidentally, <laughs> they accidentally <laughs> tweeted the wrong hashtags. Yeah. There, there is a marketing ploy, and, and I mean, kudos to them for doing it. I mean, 
we went out there not fully knowing, other than the fact that it's a really great beer, not fully knowing what it's going to taste like or anything like that, and bought a bunch of them. And I, I mean, I would assume we didn't really, we weren't concerned about how much it was going to cost. You know, it was just a matter of get as many, get your hands on as many as we possibly can. Yeah, you know. it didn't seem that hard to find to me. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, but again, that's that that's their marketing scheme. You know, we we bought a bunch of them. You know, and that was their plan. Was hey, we do a limited release. You know, and we have this enjoy by. We have it. You only you can only get it for a couple of days. Buy as many as you can. Then they sell out. They they have no they have no nothing left on their shelves. You know, that's perfect. I think this is a great IPA, but the big problem is, you know, we just can't get it. It can't be your go-to beer at the moment because yeah. it's just so limited. Um, but we all have, over the last year, we've had some of these beers that we picked up for the show that turned out not to be fresh and completely destroys <laughs> the yeah. experience for you. So after all those bad beers we've had uh, that weren't fresh, I mean... This is much appreciated. I mean, the only other way that you can get beer fresher than this is is to make your own. Um, but I think that that Stone is in a good position to do a beer like this because you know you hear Stone IPA, you know it's going to be a uh, you know a good, well done IPA. Lots of hops, lots of aromas, lots of flavors, um, and and Stone also does a lot of stuff that is meant to be aged. Um, the the barley wines. Uh, the Imperial Russian Stouts, things like that. But um, they have they have done other beers where they've said, you know, don't hold on to this, don't age this. Some of our stuff is meant to be aged. Drink this stuff now. Um, I know, I remember with the uh, 13th anniversary, they had on the had on the label, don't age this, drink it and enjoy it now. Um, so they're, you know, kind of continuing. Maybe a little foreshadowing? Of, it, maybe. Um, but, you know, continuing with that, uh, you know, we put all these these beautiful hops in there. Drink it and enjoy it while it's while it's still fresh and vibrant. Well, I think we're going to see a lot more of these come around too. I mean, I mean, most brewers obviously are looking for new and exciting things to do, and this is a kind of uh, something unique. And I think other people will probably jump on board, and you'll see some more. I mean, with Founders, you saw the uh, All Day IPA, which you know, five percent, it's sessionable IPA, and now you've got uh, Lagunitas coming out with their Daytime IPA, which is basically the exact same thing. I mean, it's a under five percent IPA that's sessionable. I mean, everyone obviously kind of follows suit in their own way. So I think this could be the door opening to some really cool fresh beers, maybe even local fresh beers that brewers are going to put out there that we're going to be able to enjoy. So I think it's really cool. And I think it's something that uh, it's worth noting and checking out in the future. Scott, more than anybody else on the BBA crew, you were really excited about this beer. <laughs> I mean, you, you went out searching for it. Yeah. I mean, what inspired you about it so much more than I've really seen you do for any other beer. <laughs> I think it was the fact that it was an imperial. I mean, I like IPAs a lot. I like big beers. I like Stone. I, I mean, obviously their reputation. Their, I mean, it's just it's, it's exciting to try their new beers. And this whole idea of something that was not meant to be kept, but basically, you know, it's you know, it's not a caged animal here. I mean, you get it, drink it, get rid of it. Uh, I just really like that idea. I think it's cool, and I want to try it. Staggering it too. I mean, I just had ideas. I thought it would be really neat to, you know, maybe try it in a couple of weeks just before the enjoy by date uh, actually comes to fruition. And I don't know it's the same with Hop Slam. You've got Hop Slam that's a beer that you have that comes out and super, super hoppy beer. I really enjoy that. It's got a lot of nose to it and a lot of uh, cream to it as well. But it drastically changes the longer you keep it. I mean, the nose goes away, it just changes, but it's still a great beer. And I'm just curious to see if it happens with this. So more curiosity than anything, and just a passion for the double IPAs. Well, we just barely made it in. We only had about 25 more days left until the day. Uh, Stone, enjoy by IPA, gets a nine on the BBA scale. And you at home know that's pretty high for us. This is a delicious beer. If you can find it, buy it, drink it fresh. I'm James Dott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.